So disease control. So in terms of diseases, in our caster, um, of course we are based in uh, Southern Africa, Zambia, so uh, at the heart of the rain season. So the way it is actually, you know when there is too much rainfall, you are going to notice and you are going to experience a lot of fungal infections. So you have to be at par with all the spraying and none can all the spraying uh, programs that you, you must employ. So one of the diseases uh, of economical importance that we have been experiencing is uh, early blight and dead blight. And um, gray mold. You know, these are very destructive if not um, uh, properly managed. So the best way uh, I would advise for uh, farmers is... Um, to be proactive instead of uh, reactive. To make sure you prevent the disease before it occurs. So in this case, if you are, uh, you are not doing organic farming, for example, you are not growing or cast organically, what you do is that du during planting, after you have put your seed in the ground, you can drench all the planting areas with uh, copper hydroxide, not copper ox oxchloride. Copper oxchloride only deals with the fungal infections. It doesn't deal with the bacterial infections. Copper oxchloride is more powerful. You drench copper oxchloride uh, as a preventative measure against fungal infection. You alternate it with mancozeb. Also, you drench it in the soil. Then, in terms of um, uh, nematodes and cutworms, you can use uh, lambda sahothrin as a preventative measure against the cutworms. You know the cutworms, they live in the soil. So you need to uh, kill them before they cut the plants. So lambda is one of the um, uh, good chemicals that you can use. Or alternatively, you can use imidacloprid. Uh, it can work. And it's also very important for insecticide to always uh, include a neem-based uh, insecticide such that uh, as um, uh, there's nimbacide, nimbacide, the different um, insecticide on the market with uh, nim as active ingredient. You know, the reason being is that there's no known insect or pest that is resistant to this drug, I mean to this, uh, to nim-based uh, products. So, uh, in the case that infestation still occurs in terms of these uh, fungal infections, you move in, you have to identify what fungal infection that you have in your field. You have to identify what pest that I have in the field. So now, in this case, if for example I've got early blight or late blight, you can move in um, with chemicals that has got a combination of uh, a systemic fungal, uh, fungicide and a contact fungicide. There are different combinations. You can use one that has a combination of uh, uh, azistrobin and um, uh, diclofenazo, uh, uh, forgive uh, that pronunciation. Or you can uh, move in, if anything, with a combination of metalaxyl and mancozeb. What you just need to know is to know the combination that is going to work and apply it according to the instruction of the manufacturer. Or you can ask the agro dealer or more especially a qualified agronomist who can help out in terms of uh, this challenge. This is very important. So that's it. Thank you very much.